What do you, what do you mean you forgot the song? Okay, screw, screw it, no, screw it, screw it. Just take my phone and hit random. No, just hit random. Okay, three, two. I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a mother, I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner. Yeah, okay, turn it off, turn it off. It didn't work. It did not work. Yes, we are live. Okay, I'll do the intro. All right. So welcome everybody to the first ever episode of TFT Talks. Um, this is the not so weekly show that we're going to do where we have a focused conversation as a, opposed to our normal podcast where we just talk about willy nilly stuff. So uh, tonight we're talking about anime and manga, um, you know, those lovable cartoons from Japan. Uh, so tonight we are joined by a lovely cast of handsome voices uh we have terry i evening evening uh we have wub hey evening uh we have zach potter hey evening and we have chaos math hello i'm gonna be gus over <laughs> here on the sitting back couch. i'm running around as this person and swinging from buildings you he's you are be, currently the one gonna be eaten what up. are you what are you streaming right now because uh, we it, it's a, to our to our audio people, we are also streaming on Twitch. So and Chaos and Wub are playing a game right now. Well, it's right now just I'm me because not... Wub abandoned me. But it's this fan made Attack on Titan game that is uh, really good for um, what it is. A fan made. Yeah, I joined the military police and I left him on the front lines. You have fun oh, in the Soviet Corps, buddy. As you do. I mean, that's kind of a. <laughs> That's kind of a major plot point for Attack on Titan, is it not? It is. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I would start us off with a kind of like a um, a general question for everybody tonight, just kind of like to establish your foundation in anime. Uh, so I have a list here, so it's going to sound very stupid because I'm just reading off a list. So what was the series, series or comic that got you into anime or manga, and what about it hooked you? So let's start Can with Zach. Okay. Okay. Well, one of the first series that really hooked me into anime and manga as a whole would have to be Cowboy Bebop. So when I did loved... you saw that, I assume, on Adult Swim early on? Yeah. Uh, I saw it on Adult Swim slash Toonami earlier on when they were hosting, like, Yu Hakusho and Good Night. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh... Gundam and other stuff like that. Uh, I, I saw it then, and then I grew more attached to it as time went on. I love the jazzy soundtrack. I love this, like the very real, realistic emotions and reacting. And I love the sci-fi. So, at the time, did you really think of it as anime or just this cart- another cartoon on Cartoon Network? I, I, I saw it sort of like a cartoon at first. You know, like I, I wasn't really sure, and then all of a sudden I'm like, "Oh, this is a genre. This is this is a completely separate thing." Uh, Major feedback. Yeah. What? Okay. Did you? Ah. Get... Uh, well, Hello. They're still hearing you. <laughs> still hearing your uh, feedback. Uh, dude. That's, uh, okay. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, well, we know you're excited about anime, but could you not destroy your microphone in the process of <laughs> fan gathering? <laughs> So, Wub, I think you were prepared. Leo. Uh, yes. Is uh, I used to watch like Dragon Ball Z and Gundam and shit, but I usually just considered it cartoons. I mean, really, the first thing that separated it as it's not just the same thing over and over was Neon Genesis Evangelion. Mm-hmm. Or um, Evangelion. I guess is the that was one of your that was one of your first animes. Yeah, because it's old. <laughs> And well, the, yeah, if, but it wasn't on American television until late. <laughs> it wasn't. No, I think I got a DVD from my cousin or something, along with like Transformers. You have a terrible cousin. And one I is, didn't know what they were giving. One is, <laughs> yeah, one was really, really different from the other. One had like all the serious characters die, and then the other was Transformers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was an intense series to watch as a twelve-year-old. But it was really something that I was like, oh, it started off sort of basic, like the protagonist is a whiny bitch and he pilots robots, and then he sort of. Changes it really very does start out as like a cliche like story. Yeah, like it, it's just all, every it, anime yeah. cliche at that point was established, and then they just kind of took it in a completely different direction. And then I think I got like LSD in my twelve year old like lunch milk, and I watched the rest of the series. I'm like, what the fuck? You had LSD in your lunch milk? It felt like it when I was watching that show. So you're watching it during lunch while you were twelve years old. 
Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you're not a great school. Uh, so, Terry, I, let's move on to you then. Uh, well, really, it was Fox Kids uh, when they started airing Digimon, like I said. <laughs> it was right before I went into high school. And then uh, around the time Season 2 came out, I was in my freshman year and sat down with some people and said, Hey, you watched this too? We found out we had common interests. And they're like, Oh, yeah, there's other stuff on Toonami. And then I got into like Yu Hakusho and Bleach and Inuyasha, and it just sort of snowballed from there. So you were a Digimon person instead of Pokemon? Yeah. Now, see, that's where I started. I started with uh, Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. Probably Dragon Ball Z first. That's probably when I was nine. And then Pokemon right after. And Pokemon is pretty much what brought me into the whole uh, Japanese gaming and anime world and stuff like that. And then I just kind of went on Cartoon Network and I watched, like, everything I watched. I think Yu Yu Hakusho was probably, like, my, like, the show that stood out the most to me when I was a kid. Like, that show, like, it, Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho were, like, the same fucking show. But I liked Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my big draws, too. For some reason. Like, I love Dragon Ball Z, but Yu Yu Hakusho just stood out. And... Uh, it, like it had, it just said cooler characters at the time. Um, I remember watching a lot of Inuyasha, um, and of course Cowboy Bebop and Trigun. Trigun was probably like my high school show. Like that was like, like that was like my sophomore year of high school was Trigun. Like that was my favorite show, and it was a short show. And I really liked the manga too. It's completely different, but there was that. And then after that, of course, was uh, Full Metal Alchemist, which uh, everybody. I think like that was like a turn with like me being around my friends at school. It was like everybody got into Full Metal Alchemist, and that's when I started meeting like more fans in like real life. You know, instead of just me by myself liking anime, I had people to talk to finally. Yeah, that's where it became like a community, not just watching cartoons in your basement. Well, it was like it was like a really well done at a convenient time at the right. appropriate age group. I think it just really hit on a lot of levels, and it hit that like maturity level that everybody wanted. So my next part of the question is, did your anim your first anime, did that or your early anime set a precedent for you for what you watch now? Like, do you have a serious of nostalgia goggles or are you pretty open about what you're watching? I probably have some serious nostalgia, nostalgia goggles for Evangelion just because of the fact that I had like a budget of like 40 bucks per episode. <laughs> and when I, I've gone back to watch it, I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck? Like, do they give a shit when they were making this? But I enjoyed it, you know. Exactly. Zach? No Zach compliment for you. No Zach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Terry yeah. Well, uh, for me, it, it really just depends on, unlike this with songs too, it's just on the individual show. If I laugh, I laugh. If it's just another high school girly girl, you know, I really don't care. Um, so yeah, I, I still like and love watching the things I used to, but like I said, it, it all depends. If something new comes along, um, I forget the names of I mean, some so of the newer ones. You but... are, you're very open uh... to the new stuff that are coming out, even though it like, feels dramatically different from where it was, which is with all con. Uh, yeah, sort of. I, mean, I wouldn't say like, it's all dramatically different, because you know, some shows are throwbacks, and it's you know, there's similarities throughout the entire genre. But... There are some cliches. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I, I judge them based on the show individually. Good, so. good show, good show. I think I think Evangelion made me hate cliches. I think it's pronounced Evangelion, by the way. <laughs> uh, no, it's Evangelion because it same, shares the same root gift. as. What about even evangelize? <laughs> evangelize? Evangelical. 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 You might be correct. I am correct. Don't challenge the form, master. So chaos. I know my word. Chaos. To bring you in, do you, have you watched any animes? I, the, you're kind of like facilitating the Twitch feed right bit, now. But exactly. You're open to join the conversation. Um, the only ones I've saw is just like the ones you said. Is a Pokemon. I watched a ton of seasons of, as well as Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Um, and I was one of the people where I got upset because I couldn't see what was next week on Dragon Ball Z because I had to go on a family trip. Yeah. So I was really into that show. They were yelling. Yeah. They yelled and then they fought. <laughs> They did sound like they were constipated for a long period of time, and then they turned golden hair. So, like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z yeah. is probably the, not the most complex of stories, well, but it's it's a foundation for everyone, I think, and it's a good jumping off point for the uh, the Japanese. Style. I def I definitely watched it after school, of course. 
Yeah. Definitely. So, How could you not? So what is it about, I guess, specifically anime and manga that draws you guys to it? Like, what it, like, what was it? The art style, the animation, the stories, the humor? What was different that really got you hooked? I think it's really the humor that grabbed me because I've been – I usually prefer shows that are a little bit more funny or if they're very serious having funny moments. Mm. Like, Helsing Ultimate is, like, can be the most dramatic, gory show. And then they'll just, like, throw in, like, a random joke and you're like, huh. I think that's what really drew me to it, is the fact that, that was another thing. even the most dramatic shows have a little bit of humor that's, in them. That was another thing I really liked about Trigon, because it, like the first 13 episodes were like humor with like slight really goofy. dramatic overtones, and then the second half was just like all drama with slight humor. You know, like just kind of like, and that's, you can see that with like most animes that are 26 episodes long, where it's like, you have your first 13 episodes, and then something dramatic happens right in the middle, and then the entire ep- like show just kind of changes in speed and tone yeah yeah definitely I, I feel like the reason i was brought on to anime is because i love cartoons so much and i just felt like this was a new media and a new perspective on cartoons i guess mm-hmm. that's kind of the best way i can describe it i just feel like it's so cool to s- like just all these fantastic worlds and and the great dynamic stories and you know p- characters you get involved with when it comes to emotionally it- attaching yourself to them and sing- things of that nature like it mm-hmm. just it 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 was really unique in the way it did the storytelling so that's why I f- fell in love with anime Tara they pretty much had it covered it. uh American American cartoons turning into crap, they like just I said in the <laughs> feed, is no. <laughs> it's you know SpongeBob versus FMA. Well, I mean, let's not win. let's oh, not yeah, hands slight over. the American quality Nickelodeon cartoons. Like we can do another podcast on that. I mean, we all okay. Enjoy Le- those, that's just right? my <laughs> Legend of Korra. Oh, Avatar. Just, just my opinions, and yeah. it's not all, but that's one out of a. She's dropping Elon her two sex. cents on the podcast right. So was it is anything about it being foreign that kind of like hooked you, or did that just not matter? I originally would watch in uh with just subtitles, and I would hate dubs just because I felt they sounded really weird. But over time, I've definitely moved back towards watching Are you, dubs. Is, any, is anybody online. here a dub versus sub snob? I extremely prefer dubbed over sub, and I, I like I'm not gonna completely deny watching anime just because it's only subtitled but mm-hmm. i will find or explore every other avenue before i switch <laughs> to a sub we're reading subs yeah i don't it's just i did that for 300 episodes of naruto when i was younger and it made me That's... a very angry person because i would sit in a dark room reading a very bright screen for screen for a long period of time mm. so i'd have like migraines or headaches or something just Here's what you do when you have that problem: is you read the manga instead. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like that makes your life a million times easier. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you because know, it's... source material. Well, As, I mean, is we it harder, harder to get? Is it that harder to get English multiple episodes of the <laughs> ma- manga versus the anime? Because you can find just a whole list of it. No, you can find the manga much easier online. Really? I think. You can probably... Fu- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In a PDF form. I, it's much easier to download You can get them at your library, too. In a WAV file. Or you can R. get them at your library, too. Is that when I was younger, I used to, uh, like, special order the Evang- uh, Evangelion mangas to my local library, and then I would read them from there, and I'd check them out. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah. that that's I, the big thing. The like, I have... Though. I love I love manga first over anime. I love reading... Even if it's not, like... Even if I... W- read the manga second it's just like about the the whole medium behind it i just love reading i love comics in general like as, as you've heard on the podcast before and i just love seeing the print medium and the art behind it and the, it's like the original art where it's came, where it came from and the pacing and stuff like that and different storytelling and sometimes it's not as good as the anime it, it, it truly is sometimes the music makes the anime or the the voice acting or the actual fight scenes or something like that aren't demonstrated enough well enough in the the manga so but Universally, I, I usually prefer the manga. The fact that you, you can bring that the whole entire environment. I don't read. Crazy. The fact. Say it again. No, no, no. I, I, I can appreciate the fact. I said I can appreciate the fact that, you know, manga is, you know, the source material and it's where all the realities come from and things of that nature. <laughs> but it's, it's really about hard to, to enjoy the. What? Oh, you sound like a robot for a second. 
He oh, is lagged well, behind. I'm having some issues. I am having some issues, so you know. But you are but lagging anyway, like a motherfucker. I, I feel like, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Just I'll, no. I'll you can you can continue. continue you can continue your conversation. Just continue your rant. Yeah, <laughs> we won't interrupt well, you. <laughs> thanks. Basically, I feel like well, anyway. I can read a manga, but at, at the same time, I think I'll appreciate it more if it was an anime because I can I mean, see the environment. You can see you know, it. Well, you can see the environment just as it's well. A, it's a just world brought to life as it moves around. It feels like you can actually, you know, get in touch with the the characters. I, I think it would be easier just to, you know, get attached to the story if you're like see the action. You don't have to kind of imagine the, the everything going on. But that's the fun of a, a fantasy story. Also, imagine I feel like yeah. and the dramatic oh, yeah. tones. Also, I feel like voice actors add a real emotional depth to characters. Absolutely, a lot absolutely. of the time. That's why I used to watch uh, subs for like older animes because the voice actors were always better it's for older ones. But now newer ones, they definitely have some. The really American good voice dubs talent. have really picked up. They really have. And yeah. Even starting going back to Full Metal Alchemist and Cowboy Bebop and uh, Trigon, just oh, like, that was like that was definitely. the perfect precedent that uh, Toonami set. Uh, uh, sorry, Toonami set. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'll move on to next set. So there's a lot of different, like, genres in anime. Like, there's, like, with TV right now, there's a billion different types of reality TV out there. And, like, and anime is kind of the same. Like, they have, like, they have an anime for everything. They have sports animes. They have animes where your sailor uniform comes to life and battles for you. I mean, I really want to talk about that one specifically. <laughs> uh, but, I so mean, you want to what, talk about what, kill is the, kill? what are the genres... And what are the animes that you like that uh, come from those genres? I guess it's like, what kind of stories do you like? And how does, uh, what kind of animes do you like? Well, not to sound like a broken record, but uh, the mecha genre is all, has been a favorite of mine just because no shit. Fucking, giant ro- <laughs> fucking giant robots. Like, I've wanted to pilot a giant robot since I, mean, I was 12. You like Gurren Lagann, you like Evangelion, you love Gundam. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, pretty obvious. That's something that actually really annoyed me when I was 12 years old, watching Evangelion about a 12-year-old piloting a robot, because he's like, I don't want to pilot the robot. I'm like, I want to fucking pilot the robot. Sign me up. Get the Shinji shit out of here, and I'll do it. He was a little bitch. Yeah, he was. <laughs> a real bitch. Uh, Terya? Uh, I lean to- more towards the sort of creature slash demon slash... Anything that has wolves in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've, I've already mentioned Digimon, but like Princess Mononoke, Monster Rancher. Um, God, I'm forgetting so many. Uh, Inuyasha, obviously demon. Yu Hakusho, lots of demons. Yu Hakusho, so. Yu Hakusho has set the best precedent for demons. I, like I love their demon world and their whole net that protects the world and stuff like that. I love the interaction there. Hey, Yoko Kurama is still hot. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> have you watched uh have you watched Helsing Ultimate? Because I mean, technically Alucard's a vampire, which is technically a demon, I guess. I th- I think I watched like one season of of Helsing. It's Oh, don't watch the original. No, no, no. Watch Helsing Ultimate, the OVAs. Now, like what was Okay, I haven't watched the OVAs. I just watched the first. Yeah, season. watch the OVAs. Sort of had an odd ending. Yeah, watch the OVAs. But I yeah, mean, and I... Wolf's Reign is definitely one of my favorites. Wolf's Reign? Oh, I haven't seen that one in forever. Oh, the soundtrack is so pretty. Oh, it's yeah? Awesome. I think yeah. I think my preference, like, I have a wide range. Like, I really like the uh, Slice of Life styles, um, like Genshiken. Have you ever watched that anime or read that manga? Mm-mm. I have Nobody? Not. It's, like, basically just about otakus. Like, and it's there's no superpowers and something like that. It's about people who just kind of, like, live in the fantasy of an anime world. Um, I just watched this one with my girlfriend called uh, Princess Jellyfish that was pretty cool. It was about like, it was kind of like uh, the flip. It was about like uh, uh, very gr- uh, uh, nerdy girl uh, anime fans instead of like the uh, typical nerdy boys. So like that was a cool like flip that I re- I'm really enjoying that now. Um, and then of course like the, the demon fantasy ones. Um, I love those kinds and just over the top Dragon Ball C sorts. Like, I, I mean, I love the genre, like the whole. Anime on the whole, I guess. I guess the only ones I don't get into are like the sports ones. I mean, those are hugely popular. I mean, what the fuck is a sports anime? Dude, by the way, you mentioned it. There Free. are 
there's like a slam dunk. Have you ever heard of that one? Like there's a basketball theme one. There's a. Uh, Is it like Space Jam but anime? Pro- I I don't know. Probably they're like different teams, like high school teams, like Freeze about swimming. Uh, yeah, like okay. I uh, uh, the intern at my work was telling me about that one. It's just like huge fan service, but for girls. And that, that's a huge thing that uh, anime... You mean man service? Man service, exactly. Like, that is something that I think anime delivers on a, a fair enough level. I think oh, we yeah. have enough man service as well as uh, <laughs> girl service. So, Have you watched... Uh, that brings me to uh, Kill a Kill. Have you watched Kill a Kill? I've watched the worst first six episodes as of this weekend. Oh, okay. So you know that there's tons of fan service and man service. So I mean, li- I mean it, it really... It's just like so in your face. Like, that dude with the glasses just, like, takes off his shirt, and he's like, yes, I am for the ladies. He, he doesn't even take off his shirt. His shirt just, like, slides <laughs> just, off. It, like, melts off. It's weird. I mean, I start, I you told me about this show probably a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just like, I'm going to try it right before the podcast. And <laughs> I turn it on. I'm watching with my girlfriend Saturday morning. And I'm just like, my hand is in my face the entire time. Like, I look up, I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> It's yeah, really it, funny. It really is. It is really funny. It's yeah. very awkward and uncomfortable, but you kind of get used to it because it's such a parody in the same way of all those kind of things. Yeah, it's awkward and uncomfortable for people watching and the characters in it, basically. <laughs> and, I mean, it's it's a unique concept. I mean, I haven't seen that before. So I mean, it's about the same guys that did Go and Login, and they're pretty good at making stuff that seems pretty generic and then turns out to be... Oh, complete the, the girl complete who sex. wants her revenge Why for not? her father's death, and then all of a sudden, like, hey, my suit fights for me. And it drinks my blood, and it speaks. Yeah. But only to me. Yeah. And you know what? That character, she keeps losing, too. Like, <laughs> she does keep she's losing. She's not good at fighting. That, the that's, the Dragon Ball Z, that's the Dragon Ball Z syndrome. Mm-hmm. You get the shit kicked out of you until eventually you, uh, you're good. Pretty much. <laughs> Saiyan blood, though. Sarah, have you ever seen Kill a Kill? No. Sure. I've heard of it, but I've never actually watched it. If, definitely check if you it go out. In, if you go in expecting something amazing, you're probably going to be disappointed. If you go in expecting a good couple laughs and some good action, you'll probably be The satisfied. visual gags are really what keep me through it. Like, definitely, like, when the, uh, what's the second, the sidekick's character name? No, uh, shit. Oh, Mako. Whenever Mako. she interjects, like, she just stops conversation. She goes, wait! And then she does her little scene, which is the same scene every time. And then she just goes on a tangent. Like, I break out into laughter for that. And then when, like, uh, she's used as a visual gag where she's just, like, taken and thrown all the yeah. time. Like, she's, like, st- like, she's, like, stiff of board. And, like, uh, the main character just, like, flips her away. I mean, that's... Also, in the, in the original Japanese dub, uh, I don't remember the specific context, but Ryoko would make a noise whenever she would get, like, hit in the face. Mm-hmm. That w- was just, like, the most hilarious noise and made me laugh all the time. Unfortunately... <laughs> I cannot replicate it because it would just sound terrible, but it was hilarious. Because she gets hit in the face a lot. Yeah. So did we lose Zach for good? I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, okay, he's Zach's dead. dead. Can, oh, he wants to be re-added. So can somebody add him back to the call oh, Zach, while I read out the next question? Okay. All right, so next question. So who are some of your favorite characters and why? Do you relate to them, or is it just someone you find interesting or hot? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the full question, Zach? Yeah. What characters right, am cool. I interested in? Do I find them hot and hot? But um, yeah. no. Uh, I think it's a combination of of where they're coming from emotionally in the story and how much of a badass they are for me. Like, it, I love well-written characters, so if they're like... I don't I don't like the ultimate badass characters. Like I like them to have some type of human traits, some humility, so to speak, so that you can relate to the character more. But I would have to say my favorite male character would be uh, Spike Spiegel because he has this really relaxed, uh, sort of tragic um, story. Like he's very he's he was relaxed a lot of the time when you see him in the series, but when shit gets real, you see that that a lot of, there's a lot of tragedy in his life. Mm-hmm. Now, for my female character, it's pretty tough because mm-hmm. there are are very few characters that don't really fit my 
my list of favorite people, and it's normally just due to the fact that but you like the way everyone. they. Yeah, I do. I do. I That's love. Interesting. You love everyone. Yeah, I just it, it's very hard for me to pick out. I think it's it has to be the main character from Ghost, uh, standalone the Ghost Shell. Ghost in the Shell. Com- yeah, Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. She's really powerful. She has, you know, she she's not. She, she has some tragedy in her life. She's very dynamic. You know, I don't like very cliche and and very whimsical characters unless it's that kind of anime. Like, I don't like the help me, help me character if you're going to be a female character. I like someone with independence, even though if th- they may not be physically strong. They could have strong willpower or they could be a very great asset to the protagonist or vice versa. You know, I, f- I feel like the character, it doesn't matter what if they're male, female, whatever. I just feel like they, they should have a lot of dynamics to them. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I would have to say for male character, I really liked Alucard from Helsing yeah. because he is a <laughs> dick. He's like the ulti- he's the <laughs> ultimate. He's literally the ultimate villain. He's a Bram Stoker style vampire. The only way to kill him, you need to cut off his head, burn him, put the ashes in a mirrored coffin, and bury it at a crossroads kind of guy. And he knows he's a big evil dick, but he still is pretty okay. Uh, well, for being a dick. Yeah. He has some civility to him, you know? Like, he's like, you want to have a cup of tea? Or blood in that case? But, you know. Yeah. Well, he's he's good to he's good to uh, Integra, who's his master. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll follow your orders. Oh, you want me to kill these guys? Yes. Just rip and tear. Uh, for female characters, shit, this is a tough one. I've been watching a lot of anime recently with female characters. Yeah. What's... Um, oh God, I'm trying to remember. I just watched, like, episode 13 of Kill la Kill. I'm trying to think of her name. She, uh, main which one? The the main character. Yoko. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like Sasu- uh, Setsuki a lot, the antagonist of sorts. Yeah. The bad lady. Well, yeah. Is she more she complex does... than she seems in the first couple episodes? It. Yeah, yeah, she does. She really does seem like she like every episode further you go into the series, she seems like she's getting more and more complex. Like she's not just this. A bitch with a god complex, or seems she's not the president of the school. She's more than that. Yeah. By the, I'm, I'm just gonna say, by the end of the series, touch my heart <laughs> with Satsuki and Ryoko. Uh, Ryoko, yeah, she, she's most certainly in in my top ten favorite characters. Like, I love her attitude. It's very well, ungeneric. My my Cuts top ten. Now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really on the have... spot. <laughs> on the spot right now. Uh, uh. Spike Spiegel. Uh, Spike. Uh, Ryu. Spike 1 through 9 is Spike. <laughs> yeah, 1 through 9 is Spike, and then 10 is Ryuki. Ruku. Ryuku. Well, you, can't, you can't fault him for that. I mean, Steve Blum. Yeah, Steve Blum is amazing. Or Bloom, you know, however you want to slice it. Blum, Bloom. Bloom. Whatever. Evangelion. <laughs> exactly. We're going to mispronounce slash pronounce things right or wrong constantly on this. this when we said like Ryoko and Setsuki, Ryoko. I'm pretty sure we mispronounced both yeah. of those. I mean, nobody's yelling at us in the Twitch chat because there's nobody watching the Twitch chat. But <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no one can correct us if they're not there. Exactly. <laughs> um, Terry, I, do you have some favorite characters? Uh, well, for me, for the guys, uh, it's in no way relation. I just sort of have uh, a soft spot for the bad boys turned good. So it's like... Matt Ishida and Kurama, um, Tsume uh, from Wolf's Rain. And then for female characters, uh, just because she kicks ass, uh, Yomiko Reedman from Read or Die. I don't know if any of you heard of that, but I was exactly gonna pick her. <laughs> She's one of my. She is definitely one of my favorite female characters. Yeah, that's. Cool. I love. I love her. I love her, the the comic. I think she's hysterical and she's badass. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean um, she she loves books as much as she loves people, if not more. And books love her. Exactly. Books, you know she she's the ultimate belle. It's fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. I forgot someone. Um, Go for it. Kuritsugu Imiya from Fate Zero. That dude plays for keeps. Mm-hmm. If you don't know the um, story of Fate Zero, basically it's like League of Legends. Every, like seven summoners summon a hero and they fight for the Holy Grail. Uh-huh. And while his summoner, while his like summoned person is out fighting the battle, he'll like take a sniper rifle and go up on the roof and shoot the other guy. That's commanding. Like he just plays for keeps. I just like the character. Yeah, that's cool. 
there are like he's a hot loads ass. of characters from anime. I haven't like I'm trying to recall all the characters I know, you know, but it's really hard for me if I if I haven't recently watched the anime, it's hard for me to recall a- characters names because I've and watched you know, so one, many. You, you, you've spoken of the ones that kind of stick out to you yeah. immediately. Yeah. So that kind of helps you there. De- definitely. I I love Zoro I mean, from One Piece. Oh, of course. He's awesome. <laughs> Is that that's one that is a show I could never I mean, I am strictly against watching that show because I do not like the character design in the slightest. I don't like yeah. the art style. Uh-huh. Um I'm sure I'm sure it's funny. I'm sure the story's good. But if I have to look at that art style, I'm going to shoot myself in the head. I <laughs> I like differing art styles. Like I I love differing art I styles, that. I just don't like that one. Like, is it, it the lining? That one is it the coloring? Me. Like, what, what exactly annoys no, you? No, it's just the character style. Like, that's it. It's, like, it's so objective in that way. It's just, like, yeah. it's, it's, that's it. Like, I just, I, I'm not mm-hmm. attracted to it. Like, I yeah. am a very visually mm-hmm. focused person when it comes to, like, art direction and design. And, like, I am so open about it. That, eh, not for me. And I think... So you don't, like... So you don't like the design of the characters, not necessarily the characters themselves. I haven't given the characters a fair chance. I it's, fully admit uh, that. That's he, my that's my deterrent. And I know it's like, it's not like the strongest yeah. argument, but it's just like that's my preference. Like I have a million other things I'd prefer to look at. And you know what? It's that's understandable. That's just all media in general. But I feel like this the One Piece, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball Z. Those they're all in the shonen kind of genre where it's very action-packed very high mm-hmm. humor young not, male not, oriented very yeah exactly so mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to get into those kinds of styles but and you know not all the characters it's, are, it's are clearly, as dynamic as you want them to be it's clearly a very popular comic because it's like on chapter 700 it's yeah just like I, naruto i've watched 656 episodes of one piece Oh my god. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Clearly popular. Is it still yeah. is it still getting, getting, still get, right is it still getting a good story that far in or oh, they yeah. just done random stuff? Well, uh, yeah, it's, it's honestly it's the adventure. Like your every episode or series of episodes is just a whole new adventure in this fantastic world of One Piece where you're you're following this character. Has he found movie. the One Piece yet? No, no. <laughs> I just want to find. I wanted to find it. That's yeah. That's exactly why I've held on this long. I'm like, where is it? Come on. Where is like, the goddamn? He's sure been everywhere. I could cheat in Wikipedia or go read some manga, but I really is the I, manga honestly, done? I, I'm. I don't think so. To be perfectly honest. Okay. So he's he's never found the one. He never will find the one piece. It's just going to be a year. Well, there's some. In- he still hasn't found the one piece. <laughs> Well, well, it's the, been one year for him. It's the quest. Yeah, it's been a few years for him, and it's been a few years for us. But it's the quest for becoming the king of the pirates, and that's the thing oh. I enjoy out of the series the most. And why I like Zoro is he's he's the atypical badass with a with a sob story, but he uses three swords, <laughs> and he makes it really badass. Like you would think, three swords is kind of lame with only two hands. He makes it super badass with all the fighting he does. Because he puts mm-hmm. one sword in his mouth and then he ha- he holds two in his hands and it's like the way the fight scenes are choreographed with him are really awesome to watch because it's like how do you imagine someone effectively using three swords Zoro that's how you imagine it because he it does it they do it perfectly it's awesome. See when you, TJ when you said you didn't like the characters I thought you meant like you found them bland and boring and I was oh, gonna no. say oh this is I a have... perfect tran- I was gonna say this is the perfect transition for Sword Out Online. <laughs> Oh, well, no, I don't want to. I don't want to go into that just yet. I want to talk about whatever you my guys specific favorite haters. characters real quick. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry for interrupting. I mean, my favorite male character, of course, is Ash, Ketch- Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Got to catch them all. Just, I'm just uh, <laughs> no, probably favorite male character. It's it's probably Vash the Stampede versus ah, yes. Rock Lee from Naruto. Yes. I mean, Rock Lee is probably the only person in anime that I can ever strictly relate to in every way possible. I love Rock Lee. It's basically where I got Tejin Lee from. Did I ever tell you guys no. that? Yeah, no. you, you told me I that. Had the, I, had, I had the word Tejin, and then that was like from an old a- AOL username, and then I really liked Rock Lee, so I signed up for a username for uh, a Naruto forum, and I just took Tejin and I added Lee to the end of it, and I've stuck with it my entire life. So that's the origin of that, and then my favorite female character is obviously the the chick from Reader Die, 
And then the character from that uh, anime Genshin I was talking about earlier just caught up. I, I, I can't, I'm probably going to pronounce her name wrong, but Chika Ogui. Um, she's just like a very different kind of like otaku-ish girl. Um, she's very like a stubborn type, very strong and stubborn type of character that is just like, it takes her a while to warm to the rest of the characters, but she's a very interesting and complex character from the, and the, from the, the comic. Definitely. And uh, it takes her a while for her to break from her shell, but it's a very interesting story how she breaks from it. So that's all that. And then you want to transfer into Sword Art Online? Please. God <laughs> Let's damn do it. That. You guys are what such are your thoughts? <laughs> hey, so first, I did... first explain what it is. Okay. Sword Art Online is an anime about a bunch of people getting trapped within the like virtual reality MMO game. The heck. And yeah, like dot hack or log horizon, except not as good. <laughs> Um, basically, it embodies the MMO experience of making a character and then having that character do nothing story-wise except go through dungeons and fight people. Okay. Well, he has the stupidest nickname I've ever heard. The beta, 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 what is it? A beta? Beta? Uh, user, oh, beta tester? Uh, beta. A beater. <laughs> he's a, a beater. beater. It's, completely... it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. He's like, I hate. We all hate him because he's played the game. I, I us. think since I'm in the minority of this this conversation, I I want to go first in defending it because you guys are. This is... Go ahead. Go ahead. I, defend it. it. Okay, so there are a few things about SEO that are really awesome. I'm sure there. You know, a lot of these characters are archetypal. They're very you know, cookie cutter for some people. But it's the nuances with the characters that you start to enjoy more when when the when you're further down the series. At the same time, you both haven't finished the whole series, so your your ob- observations are not of the full you can picture. Make, I I I am of the full. If you if your anime is 26 episodes long and if you can't hook me within the first quarter of the show, then it's not doing its job right. I'm not gonna I've try watched, to. I've watched six episodes and I'm like. This isn't for me. Like this, I, this show does not look like it's going to get its legs. And from all reports, it doesn't never finds its legs. I find, I'm all for giving a show a fair shot yeah. until, but if it's like that it. guy from Saving Private Ryan who can't find his legs. <laughs> exactly. So, are you trying to spoil us? Because you can spoil us in the anime, but I've never seen that movie, so you just spoiled that one. Way to go! It's not uh, right. No, no, no. But um, I don't know. I, it's the nuances on how and how the complexity of their situation, how dark their situation becomes, even more so, and how apparent becomes when other players start killing other players and things of that nature, w- and the progression of that in the story that really tr- drawed me in. Hunger Games. I, I, sort of. On a and year-long I like, schedule. Yeah, and I like it more than Hack because it doesn't have the... It, it has a lot of... I like the game, like, it's only swords or melee weapons. There's no magic, there's no fantasy to it. I loved but, Hack because it was it, – it initially sets you up for that kind of anime, but it just completely takes it in a different direction, and it's a mystery. And you know what? They, they don't explain everything, and then they build a fucking great franchise out of it, and they make a billion games that I all played. But anyway, continue. Hack, hack you know, I think, <laughs> I think there's some, some rose-colored or shaded uh, goggles your guys are wearing for Hack because mm-hmm. all in all, it's – there's not a whole lot of like you get in the game and then you play and then you leave like there's sometimes you could die if you encounter this or that or if you die in the game you die for real but at any point in time there are some points where you could leave and hack the first few episodes i just felt like oh s- well i mean I, what's your go on Sorry. I, no, no worries it's fine we're, we're what does that have to do with rose colored glasses <laughs> well it's just <laughs> it's two different types of story then it's the it's li- almost basically the same thing it's just that the, there's a little more. There's way more fantastical ideals in Hack than there are in SS, SAO or Sword Art Online, because uh-huh. these people, like the drama and and the reactions and how everything's set up in the anime, is like very like dark. Like you can immediately see how this is affecting people's sanity. You can immediately see how, like it's like it's like how real people would react in a way. Like that's mm-hmm. what drew me. Not to true. It. You're saying you're, you're saying you wouldn't. He's got an objection. Out. Okay, here's my objection. Go for it. I I did three things today. I lost power at work. I watched Sword Out Online the first few episodes, and I watched the first few episodes of a show called Log Horizon, the, which are both very similar. Basically, the difference is I do have to say Sword Out Online has really good action and really good music. Sword Out uh, Sword Out Online is basically what happens if the game gets more like the real world. 
people start dying if you die for once you die for real blah 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 so on and such forth and you change into your real persona instead of staying as your avatar log horizon is a little bit different it's what if the real world changes into the game you can respawn however it comes up to the question well if we don't die what the fuck's the point of living like all we do is we fight for gold to get more weapons to fight for more gold to get more weapons and that's that was raised in the first go like two episodes I also want to go to there, and that's something I really liked about Log Horizon is these people who are level 90s in their game and have played it for like 40 hours a week. When they first come into the game and they're like, oh my god, we're in this game that we love. They don't go, let's leave. Like, this is fucking cool. Yeah. And they, yeah. yeah but it's not, a, it's, but it's different in, in Log Horizon because they're, they can respawn. They can respawn, yes. And that's, but it brings up more, like, Metaphorical it's questions, kind of, yeah, it's metaphorical philosophical, philosophical questions, questions, philosophical yeah. challenges, yeah. and stuff like that. And there was nothing in the beginning of Sword Art Online that was any question. It was like, the question was, we don't want to be in this game. How do we get out of this game? Like, it was just meh. It was just meh. I do have to say, it's not terrible. I just found it meh. Like, I can excuse boring characters. Like, characters are sometimes just as interesting as like a piece of bread <laughs> on screen and i mean that's normally fine with some animes like that happens but it's the, if you have like two pieces of bread and you put something interesting between them that makes the anime but like with sword art online it was just like a mayonnaise sandwich it was just bought me i don't know it's, i think it's I, I think it's different strokes for different folks kind of situation you know there you i said that yesterday too I didn't get that phrase. I uh, I don't know. It's it fell upon me, and the great Cthulhu gifted my mind with that phrase. And is it Cthulhu or Cthulhu? It's Cthulhu. It has to be okay. like that's the, the the right way to Evangelion. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> So, yeah. Terry, have you ever seen Sword I actually Online? have not. I just had a coworker ask me on Saturday if I had watched it and recommended it. So. Yeah, it, watch Log Horizon and listen, skip that and go read Homestuck instead. Uh, These non believers. No. <laughs> no, go watch Log Log Horizon is so much better. Like the characters as soon well, as they're like begin talking to each other and they first meet each other in real life, like see, holy shit, that you're tall more and like, interesting to me. It is more interesting. Like it's funny because they take on the personas of their avatars and the one guy is like, Holy shit, I'm a foot taller than I was before. I can't I keep tripping over that. I would love that. This and one character is a one character is a female, and her like avatar was a male ninja that was like seven feet tall, and she's like, "I need you guys to give me a potion now to change this shit back because I'm not living like this." <laughs> <laughs> this this is funny because it actually leads into my next question. So, which anime, if you could, would you world would you like to get sucked into? Oh man! And which one would you like to avoid at all costs? Damn. Let's just get this out of the way. No one wants to go to Attack on Titan. <laughs> no one. <Exactly. laughs> no one. Nobody that's that's the one I would avoid at all costs, because that would Well, I'm, there's a few me. people who are like, oh, man, I'm going to be like the super badass that takes down the Titans. No, you're going to be the guy that's like going to work, and then you come outside, and you're like, what the fuck? There's a 30-foot dead. Yeah, exactly. Dead. <laughs> you're the guy who's who's farming, and then all of a sudden you're eaten by the Titan, and then that's the end of your story. Yeah, like You're the guy who is a refugee and then sent back out to fight and then killed. Yeah. Um, almost immediately. The, I, I'm so not... you are you in this world, by the way. Yeah, I'm not... you are you. You don't have special powers. You are yeah. just you, and, yeah. unless you live in the the a dot hack world or the 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 uh, sort of online log world. horizon. Yeah. Then you can have powers. I I would say log horizon. I would like to take in the shoes of some of the characters I've made in video yeah. games. That sounds that, fun. Yeah, honestly, like I I haven't seen the show, but how Wubs is describing it, I think that would be really cool. To become a character that you created and spent a lot, a lot of hours on to be this uber badass. That'd be cool. Another series I might want to be in a little more than that. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say... <sighs> I'm going to say One Piece. Because it's not like people die at one pe- in One Piece, but it's like a very magical world and there's a lot of ways like you can eat a devil fruit and gain a power and like you can be a pirate and rob or you can be a navy guy and do good things and kill pirates, you know. It's a very cool. I want I want to live in a world where there's a lot of adventure, I guess. I'm going to add a complexity to this too. You can add like JRPG and stuff into this too. Like 
throughout this entire conversation. If you're thinking like a video game world too, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah. I'm gonna throw that out there too. I'm trying to think of an anime that doesn't have a world that sucks. Pokemon. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. That's a fantastic. One. I'm, I'm like thinking like my favorite anime is like Helsing Ultimate. <laughs> no, I don't want to be killed by Nazi <laughs> vampires. Uh, Evangelion. No, I don't want to be killed by angels. Uh, tight. Attack on Titan? No, I don't want to be eaten by Titans. I guess I would say Log Horizon. I mean, I would like to be in the video. I already said that, didn't yes, I? Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just saying it again. I would definitely avoid okay, anything in high school, to... but as for being in it, I don't know. Good call. Good call. Oh, there's this there's this anime called Angel Beats, which is really good. It's it's about when people die, they go to this purgatory. It's like high it's a uh, high school, and it's like. Every everything everyone who isn't dead is an NPC, so they have like programmed responses if you slap their ass or if you <laughs> say a certain thing to them and stuff stuff like that. <laughs> and you can't die; you just respawn. So mm -hmm. I think Angel Beats would be a cool place to go as well. It's very. I don't want to. I mean, I guess I could spoil it a bit. It's a purgatory. Um, you when if you feel like you died in, uh, unjustly or if the universe, uh, filed your death as a you, like there's no way you can't move on or you don't want to move on you're put into this high school like environment and you go through daily life as a high school student and that sounds really meta that sounds awesome and <laughs> and it's crazy because th these high school students like it's really crazy because th everybody has superpowers and you can develop all these crazy weapons and stuff like that it gets like gets more and more intricate and crazy uh as the show continues but one of the sad things is it's like this place is meant for you to pass on, to go into the next place. Like you, this is really like purgatory and it's the high school environments to help you feel fulfilled so you're no longer uh, feel unjust about your death. Why would that help you feel fulfilled? I didn't like high well, school as much in certain It's parts. probably a metaphor for reliving high well, school. It's, it makes you feel more fulfilled because there'll be people you can talk to, friends you can make do things that you weren't able to do previously in your in th your life before you died like for example you know become the hero of the baseball team catch that one ball that you didn't catch uh you, you know make a band that you've always wanted to make with friends but you couldn't because you didn't have the courage to make friends in the first place you know these kinds of things that you f you're left unfulfilled for and then you die and then you immediately you just feel like your death's unjust and you'll do you know sort of like a ghost like the premise of being a ghost but in a different dimension it's a really good it's a very interesting anime to say the least i'm not sure how you guys would feel about it but it's it's very it's up there in the whimsical and wacked wackadaisical sense but it's still like there's a lot of darker tones with that come with it as yeah well. i was gonna say it sounds like it has a lot of dark undertones i love it yeah <laughs> it's it's very complex in that way so i think i think it would be it'd have to be one of those that i want to live in I think if I could choose a couple worlds, maybe Full Metal. Mm -hmm. I think Meta brought oh, yeah, it up in the one. chat. Yeah. I think that would be because I have the chance to learn alchemy. I think that would be pretty That'd be, cool. That like, would as be a normal sweet. person, I could learn to do that. Um, you can turn your daughter into a dog. I think I wouldn't want to live chimera. in Death Note world. <laughs> Poor Nina. Still hurts my feels. Nina. Still hurts my feels. <laughs> oh. I think I'd want to avoid Death Note. Oh world. god! Yeah, at and all Attack costs. On Titan world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those ones are pretty bad. I, I, think I do not be... want to be added to that book. <laughs> oh, but you I have control one. the book. Now that I think about that, that is the question. I no, I would, I would, I would uh, not want either. Yes, I, would, I, would I definitely want. want... I just wouldn't want to be there. <laughs> Give me the <laughs> book. Like, Give me the book. I don't want to figure out who's the guy with the book because then I'll be in the book, and then I don't want to be the guy with the book. What happens if you lose the book? Oh, that was that was like that it? was like before Team Edward, Team whatever, whoever the other guy was. It was between. Has anybody ever seen Death Note? Uh, yes, Light Yagami and Light L. versus uh, L. Yeah. And yeah. if you chose Light, you are cold hearted bastard. I chose Light. <laughs> You're a terrible person. I'm sorry. He's right. I had. He is I, right. I, I had a group. I had a group of four friends. It, it, with me we were four and it was me and my one friend who chose l and then the other two who chose light and we were just getting like literally night-long arguments <laughs> about this I, and let's brush all this more morality and ethics aside 
doing what he did, I I completely agree with what he. Uh, and for people who haven't seen Death Note, Death Note is basically uh, a series about Light Yagami who finds a book called the Death Note one day, and he reads the the rules in the Death given Note. Given to him by a Grim Reaper. Yeah, it was given to him by a Grim Reaper or a God of Death, and you're allowed to write in pe- people's names, and then when you write those names in, they die. Light sees this as an opportunity to get rid of all the scum of the earth, and that's where the contention rises. Do you think this is just and right, or do you feel like no one, no one person should have the power to uh, control the life and death of any populace or people? The great anime. God among men. We don't want a god among men. I think I would make a great, great god above god among men. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'd want to live in the de- now that I think about it. I want to live in the desert punk world. It's like Borderlands, <laughs> yeah. basically. Oh yeah. I don't know. Desert yeah. punk world's pretty tough. Like, you gotta be. Dude, I know you, how to shoot a gun. I'm yeah, fine. I know how to shoot a gun too. But you gotta be used to like, I don't know. There's I, there's a lot of shit going on in desert punk world that I wouldn't be. Able that to that know. shows like funny for two yeah, episodes and then it's over the top. It's really. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's even funnier. What are you saying? I do like the outro music, though. Want to fight about it? There's a circle, and then there's another circle. There's a circle, there's a circle <laughs> and there's then another there's circle. Another circle. <laughs> uh, well, it's fun. It's it's that's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be satirical. Mm. It's like the Borderlands yeah. of anime. Yeah, exactly. It's very over the top. I'm sorry, Miss Wolf's Reign over here. We, we can't <laughs> all be the Ragnarok and, and both be human and wolves. Yes, you yes. <laughs> um, Ouch! No. Burn! Whoa. She, that... I'm going for the chop. I'm going for Shots the jugular. Have been fired. I'm going for the jugular. Um, Arf. Shots fired. Much like a wolf would. Ow. Um, but Wolf's Rain is actually a Wolf's it, Wolf's Rain is actually a pretty good anime though. Um. <laughs> um okay, so we got uh, probably about eight minutes left. Um, so final question is: Do you have any final recommendations to the group or to anybody listening? Uh, when they possibly listen to this, of animes uh, that they may have not seen. Something that you think is kind of uh, unique that you want people to go see. Not the kind of the more popular ones. Or more the more popular ones. I would say Log Horizon. Yeah. Um, and Kokoro Connect. That was a really good one. I don't really get to talk about that one much, but that was pretty funny and interesting. And shit. There's probably another one. What, what about uh... Kill a Kill? That's pretty popular, though. Is it? I, guess I think it most is people now, have yeah. heard of it at this yeah. point, yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, no, uh, Terry, I haven't, hasn't seen it, so let's recommend it to her. Yeah, exactly. Recommend Recommended. It. Go watch it. I've, I've also heard a lot about We'll do another podcast of you just, your just expectations. and. Uh, if you don't like over-the-top stuff, though, well, I also like Kill a Kill. You can't be an anime fan and not be over-the-top. Well, I also yet. said I judge based on the show, like, individually. So, <laughs> I'm willing to watch a couple episodes. Okay. Like you said, if it doesn't if it doesn't hook you in would... the first couple, then drop it. But mm-hmm. I would say Fate Zero as well. I'm not sure if that's super popular. I know the Fate series is pretty well known, but I'm not sure if a lot of people know about Fate, Fate Zero. Zero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, Zach? Oh, I would want to, if you're into, I'll recommend a serious one and a silly one. The silly one, it's kind of old. It's called Panty Stocking with Penny and Stocking with Garter Belt. It's a very Powerpuff Girl-like style with a very dark, gritty humor. Um, Did you say that was the serious one? No, that's the silly one. I'm going to start with... Oh, I was going to say Penny Stocking in uh, Underwear. That's cool. like, it's, it's a, explain the darker regions of the Japanese underground. It, it's... <laughs> okay. It, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a story of two angels who are stuck on Earth, and they have to exercise ghosts with their underwear because that's what their weapons are and at and it it's basically one's obsessed with sweets and one's obsessed with sex and it's very it's a very weird and bizarre anime but at the same time there's a lot of humor in it that i find hilarious and i'm sure a few people would too it's like a shit the humor reminds me a lot of like shin shan like there's a lot of pop culture references it's very like dark and at the same time it's still comedy Mm -hmm. um now for the serious, more serious one. Fully Cooly? No. Oh, no. <laughs> That's very serious. Extremely serious. Oh, man. I, I had 
You ever see a robot eat someone and shit them out? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe we haven't we haven't talked about Naruto, Bleach, Inuyasha, uh, <laughs> Kuli Those are all, all crap. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Fully Kuli. You shut your mouth. Well, two Cap of them are Shonen. Are good. Some of those are Shonen's good. are pretty boring. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think here. I, it's hard because I'm trying to determine whether or not it's it's mainstream or not. I mean, just say what you what do you, what do you think we should go see? I think put your hipster glasses yeah, put on. Put your hipster glasses. I'm trying. It's really hard. Uh, I think. I think I'm gonna have to say. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say Samurai Seven. It's a it's a. I'm not sure if everyone has seen it or not. It's like a 26 or ish episode anime about seven samurai, and it has it's based off of the the classic tale about the seven samurai saving a village from a whole bunch of bandits. Except for it's in the future, so these samurai are really badass, and they're going up against ban- mechanized samurai, and they are actually saving one village. So it's huh. very steampunky, is cyberpunky samurai flick. But it's a little more serious when it when it comes to those tones. Uh, I can't believe nobody actually mentioned uh, Veroni yet. You know, Kenshin. Oh, Veroni Kenshin. Yeah. That's true. Oh. <laughs> and the live action. Uh, Fair enough. The movie uh, came out last year. It was and Tenchi Moyo. Yes. Nice. What so, a- there's your recommendations. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I would say so. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say know, so as well. I've been, unfortunately, um, I haven't seen like a whole lot of like obscure animes i've been part of this anime group on the wizard teeth with uh jester he asked for a shout out and so i have to hey jester i have jester. to squeeze it in at the end mm-hmm. uh but yeah the anime group has shown me shout a lot out of to cool... the anime group shout out to the yeah, anime shout group. out to the anime group mm-hmm. shout out show to me a uh, lot of... show up. yep yeah shout out to him <laughs> shout out to uh seven o'clock or whatever uh yeah, but it's it's shown me a lot of like obscure animes that I probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. So, so what what's the group called? How's it go? It's called the Anime Book Club. Okay, I think everybody the one with the, should go check it it's out. One, it's one with a picture of a body pillow on the front. <laughs> <don't know> <laughs> Wonderful. We made it obvious. Um, <laughs> it's seething self destruct. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend to the group go check out Genshin. I think uh, that's a really great show. Um, for old school, I would say Yu Yu Hakusho, of course. Oh, definitely. And then of course. For I forgot to mention this one too. It's one of my favorites, Gundam Seed. Yeah. My favorite. Gundam or Seed. Gundam Seed and G Gundam is a tie for my two favorite Gundams. Yeah. Um, those this are both Gundam G Gundam's one. funny as fuck, and you know has some serious shit. But Gundam Seed has like wild levels. It's good. Can I just can I just say I really hated Gundam Wing? Yeah, it wasn't that good. No. I, the main character, Hero, actually reminded me a lot of the protagonist in Sword Art Online. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm just saying, it's the type of character that like everyone hates, and he's brooding, and he's like a misanthrope. He has but no all the personality sex- whatsoever, but all the sexy ladies and the love female him. lead yeah. has no personality whatsoever. She does yeah, but- not- She's completely useless, but they spend half the fucking show on her. Yeah, that character where it's just like boring and like... She's like, like hey, welcome to my party. Things. You should be honored to be at my party. He's like, fuck you. And she's like, whoa, you can't say that to me. And <laughs> I love like, you. <laughs> you can't say that I, to I me. I still, I don't know. I love you. I, I, I guess I just suspend, I, I have the ability to suspend more disbelief than most. And I can, sure. I can, I can overlook those, those quirks. Because I appreciate the story and the progression of the story more, more so than the individual characters sometimes. I think a complete story needs all of those components. Well, that I mean, my my favorite anime have all those components, but there are some anime I still appreciate that you know don't have sure. necessarily all of them. Another anime I would like to suggest would definitely be Big O because it's Max. I was just gonna Big mention o. that. Oh my gosh, Steve oh, Blum. Yeah. And Steve Blum, watch it for Steve yeah, Blum. Yeah, exactly. And just Steve Blum. Steve Blum He's is the... an amazing act or Blum, you know, <laughs> whatever. He's an amazing voice actor. He's what been in like Steve Bum. <laughs> uh, no. I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the name. He should have been titled as that for his character and go and log in. <laughs> like played Levon, on the very effeminate stereotype. Yeah, just Wikipedia or IMBD his his name and you'll find everything he's worked in. Video games. Which is everything. Which is everything. Mm-hmm. And like I have not seen a single anime he was in that isn't bad. 
Or he's the, Grunt from Mass say. Effect. Yeah, he's Grunt from he's Mass Effect. He's that guy. Yeah. Has anybody watched any uh, Sayuki? My friends were gaga over that in high school. Sayuki. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sayuki. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, Sung. Uh, yeah, Sanzo uh, Hakai. Goku yeah. And, and the Sanzo, the, yeah, Hakai. Yeah, that was really good, too. It's pretty good. It's really confusing watching Kill a Kill, and they keep calling their suits Goku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to the sub right now. I'm like, stop that. Stop it. Well, it, I think it's cool because it, they're referring to something that's extremely powerful. You know, it's like and that's Goku. It's a nod. Is it really I, named after him? I describe Goku as the strongest fictional character that has ever existed. Uh, like he uh, could defeat maybe. any fictional character of all time. Maybe Alucard might. I don't one. know. Just Over because Alucard, Goku, just because Alucard's like invincible, like he will just keep getting getting back up. Goku's died how many times and come back? <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because of the, that's because of the Dragon Balls. I know. <laughs> He, he goes down, he gets back up. He goes down, he gets back up. Or the Deus Ex Machina of that show. I, I think I think at this point we should wrap up. <laughs> okay. When we get into the super fight section where we're like, Goku could beat Alucard's ass on a let's, submarine. Yeah. Let's call yeah, it a right right And then right after we're going to be playing super fight. Tijin's card is... The... <laughs> uh, dude, Tijin card could beat any card. But anyway... Um, thank you all for joining tonight for our first episode of Woo-hoo! THC Talks. Um, we talked anime tonight, and it was a pleasant <laughs> conversation with uh, going around the table again. Well, yeah. Wave. Don't watch Sword Art Online. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. me. Chaos Man. Hey. And Zach Potter. Wub's a pleb. Go ahead and watch Sword Art Online and make and your own I'm opinions. Your host, I'm your host, Tijin Lee. Um, you should subscribe to us on Twitter at the forum thread. You should find us on Facebook. You should like us. Uh, we are also on the Rooster Teeth website. We have a group, and we do a podcast every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8, C- uh, 8 Central Time, and we broadcast it on Twitch, so you should come check us out. Um, thank you again for listening to us, and have a great night. Everybody, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Sayonara. Get in the fucking Ava, Sinji. <laughs>